This thing's an absolute, this is the definition of muscle bike in my eyes. It's the best of everything. Liquid cooled, six cylinder, Kawasaki perfection. The, ma the Manic Mechanic himself did all the work on this bike. We've been working on this bike for the better part of a year, actually over a year. We purchased a collection of big bore bikes, mostly six cylinders from a friend of mine whose dad passed away. And uh, he had these in storage for a while. And I just had to I had to see this project to fruition I had a vision in my head of doing an Eddie Lawson superbike replica Eddie Lawson was a 1981-82 superbike champion um, Christy Steiger my girlfriend did the Steiger designs full custom graphic package this is number 35 the 35th one that she's done as you can see um, it was a combination effort of her doing the, the graphics package um, the man mechanic spinning the wrenches and my good friend Ed at Mill Street Auto laid down this badass. This is the actual original Eddie Lawson uh, Kawasaki Racing Green that we purchased from Colorite, uh, the actual exact paint code. And the Castrol Motorel DG decals, the blue and silver, those are all done by Christy. The um, man at Mechanic what, took the bike completely, completely dismantled the motorcycle and redid it from the frame up. Starting on the front end, I'll grab the work order so I don't forget exactly what he did. But quite a bit of time and money to put them on. The sound that comes out of this, you hear that? Those are the radiators. Zoom in on show them the radiators. Liquid cooled, so you can run this in traffic. It's 90 something degrees out. It's July 25th, one of the hottest weeks of the year here in Connecticut. It's boiling hot, and this thing runs nice and cool because it's liquid cooled. Big, big improvement of most of the, most of the muscle bikes from that area were air cooled. Starting at the front of the bike, if you zoom in, you, you'll still see this still has the hairy nubs on the brand new Bridgestone Battle Axe front tire. The rim was uh, taken apart and repainted. All the black is repainted. The aluminum was cleaned up. The, the calipers were cleaned up. The rotors were cleaned up. The calipers were rebuilt along with the master cylinder, which was re rebuilt by the man in mechanic. He had the whole front end off the bike. He put new steering head bearings in it, and he rebuilt the forks with new fork seals, oil, and new plastic rubbers, as you can see. Um, the fairing is a replica KZ fairing. It's got the full Steiger graphics package wrap on there, the custom uh, cafe style turn signal lenses, the smoke screen. It has a uh, set of Superbike handlebars on there with new grips, a 
the gas tank is an absolutely stunning paint job on there. Uh, real clean, original gas tank on this bike. Came out beautiful with a new paint job on it. The frame's been repainted, the swing arm's been repainted. It's uh, shaft driven. It's got a set of performance, progressive, uh, new set of progressive shocks on it. The original saddle was in good shape, so we kept that intact. The original uh, tail piece was in great shape. That was refinished in the Eddie Lawson color with the turn signals in the back here. Again, the pre progressive shocks. Uh, rear brake system were completely rebuilt. Calipers are redone. Master cylinder was redone. Um, the carbs were rebuilt. And let me refer to the work order so I don't speak out of school here. Um, the front tires are Bridgestone Battle Axe 14080. Uh, this is the 11017 on the front and the 140 on the rear. The exhaust is a brand new 6 in the 1. Zoom in on that exhaust, show them that's a DG chrome exhaust with a competition baffle. It just, it sounds like a, it sounds like a, um, an idol, almost like a drag car. And when I was, when I was sitting outside here, what did you say, Ryan? What did you say it looked like? So yeah, from the side profile, it looks like a drag bike. It does. It, it, it has that long, low, lean look. Got a new UASA battery in it, six new NGK spark plugs. Uh, the gas tank was clean on the inside, painted on the outside, and it got a new fuel pet pop attached, new fuel lines. Again, new fork seals and fluid, steering head bearings, uh, the engine ice coolant was three liters of engine ice coolant, uh, new DOT4 brake fluid, five quarts of Bellray 10W40, new oil filter, new superbike bars, new front cowl fairing, new grips, complete custom paint job, mini turn signals, new fuel line. Um, new headlight brackets, uh, new air filter, uh, Stiger Design graphics. Jeff really the, the made some magic happen on the carbs. These these were set for tuning. Uh, they were more of a tuning, excuse me, touring uh, setting on the carb, and he set it up for a performance setting. He micro drilled the pilot jets, raised the needles, adjusted the fuel screws, and also spent a lot of time on the carbs to make them rev out as quick as it does. He drilled holes in the slides to speed up the vacuum slide speed. The manic mechanic, he was the one who built all the racing KZ 1,000, 1,100, 1,300 uh, engines that were in Whip City and the mini sprints for years. So here's a guy, he's 60 something years old, he's been tuning these bikes uh, since um, since the, the 70s. He's absolutely phen phenomenal and he tuned this motor and it's absolutely on point. And the exhaust, look at the, look at the way the exhaust wrap, wraps down. It's just, man, it's like a testosterone boost just getting on this bike and hearing the engine start just it's like a, it's a it's a cure for depression. It's like an antidepressant. Just listen to the motor. <laughs> and if it was winter time and you sat in your garage and started the motor, that'd be enough to to, to wet my whistle for sure. Um, where did I leave off here? So the carburetors were completely dismantled, cleaned inside and outside. He micro drilled the pilot chest, raised the needles, adjusted the fuel skew, screws, uh, replaced the spark plugs, changed the oil and filter, installed the exhaust, replaced the steering head bearings and races, replaced the fork seals, with the fork fluid, flushed the gas tank, installed the petcock. Install the new battery, install, install the new tires. Uh, kind of went over the parts list first, now I'm going over what he did, which is, seems a little redundant, but I don't want to miss anything. Cleaned and honed the rear brake calipers, lubed the clutch cable, flushed the cooling system, then installed the engine ice, installed the super bike bars, installed new mini turn signals, installed the front cowl, installed new grips, and tuned the thing to perfection. So, you got a two page list here, everything that was done and the parts, actually three pages including the work order. Then I went to the detail shop. Ronnie did the full detail on it. He steam cleaned it, hand washed it, degreased it, soda blasted it, uh, repainted the frame and the engine, repainted the wheels, the forks. The, uh, actually, Kyle said you got a week. You can spend a whole week on this bike or whatever it takes, but you got it done in, in, in what? How many days, Ronnie? About well, four days. Four days. So, um, in any event, uh, Ronnie went through, uh, repainted the, the forks, lowers, the engine covers. Touched up the triple clamps, polished all the aluminum, the controls, the hardware, the fork tubes, etc. Cleaned the tires and the seat cover and the grips. Uh, waxed the painted tins. Um, so, and uh, that's about it, man. It's pretty much absolutely stunning. So, we've got down 50 hours of labor. I, that's that's what's on the work order. I'm willing to bet it's substantially more than that. Uh, but uh, that's that's what we have total between Jeff. And Ronnie, but when you work on something over the course of the year, they're not punching a time card every time. I guarantee it's more than 50 hours. But uh, and of course, we outsource the paint. It's probably got a couple days in, in the sand and priming in, in, in the paint shop here. So came out absolutely freaking stunning. Hats off to Christy for for this world class KZ 1300 graphics package that really ties the whole thing. And did you show them the the metallic uh, gold in the pinch in the in the that's this is one off guys there's not another one like this on the planet it's a Steiger designs she did this 
as close to a replica of the original. And you can see her Steiger Designs number 35 signature graphic there. Just really proud of the work she's turning out. Um, these custom decals on the side are just on point. Guys, you can pull up to a meet with this. You can go to Daytona on Main Street. Nobody. You could have a brand new $60,000 CBO Harley. No one's going to give you a second look. You roll in with a six-cylinder beast like this, heads are going to turn everywhere. Wrenches will drop at every shop you pull into. And everybody's going to come outside and say, what the hell is this? Uh, it, it looks like a factory Eddie Lawson replica, which is the best part. It looks production, but it's it's not. It's custom built. It was it originally started life as a touring model, if you can imagine that. It's just sexy as hell. Uh, a lot of fun to ride. I, I rode the CBX 1100. Junior and I did a little drag race on them. This is definitely faster than the CBX 1100. Um, and it, the sound is absolutely freaking intoxicating. It's a lot of fun to ride. And isn't that why we do this? I mean, wouldn't we all just be driving Priuses if we wanted something practical? You know, an electric little car that uh, got 90 miles to the gallon. I'd rather die first. Uh, you know, it, you're talking to the guy who drove a semi to work today, but... Yeah, I got issues. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm a truck guy and I'm a car guy. Not, excuse me, I'm a truck guy and I'm a bike guy. I'm not a car guy. And when it comes to bikes, something like this, just it just absolutely turns me on. And it, it took us a long time to get it done, but it was worth it. And uh, I think the finished product speaks for itself. The total cost on the labor was $6,000 and the parts was $4,133. With tax, a total was ten thousand seven hundred ninety-seven dollars that we invested in this. So the, the good news is it's absolutely freaking awesome, one of a kind. The bad news is it's going to be expensive. Sorry guys, so we can't give it away. A lot of time and effort was spent at this, but whatever you spend on it, it'll be worth it. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. Eight six zero four five four seven zero two four. Thank you. 